Hey, Mr. Hi, Mister. We are here with David Salno, the director of um, Kid Thing, which is at the moment at the Forum of the Berlin Film Festival. Um, your films have been shown at Sundance Film Festival, but you've been at the Berlin Talent Campus. You have been to several film festivals, and we would like to know about um, some tips for indie filmmakers from your point of view. Um, what do you think, or what should filmmakers focus when they have a small budget? Um, well, see, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still, you know, trying to learn myself. So yeah. uh, I think I always want to be a student in terms of just trying to learn new things and 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 you know and, and figure out how everything uh, how every, how everything works. Um, but I mean, the I've been at it for a, a while now, and and I think the 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 most important thing I've learned is just. Uh, just perseverance, just continuing to 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 work and and make things and and not, especially in this day and age when anyone can get a hold of a camera, to not let that be an excuse to not make something. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think just just can just to continue to to make things and not be afraid to fail. Um, yeah. I think uh, you know we we're we're. Um, getting larger projects off the ground, but those take a lot, you know, a lot more time in terms of pulling the financing together, and you're working with, you know, much larger groups. And so, rather than sit around and wait, you know, for those to happen exactly when you want them to, we, that's why we've, you know, either gone to making short films or music videos, or, yeah. or, or um, that's why we made this feature. Um, partly based, you know, we looked at the resources we had and the time we had. And um, and thought it was better spent, you know, making making something even if it was on a smaller scale than sit around and wait. Um, and the great thing about short films is there's um, uh, in between, like we had a we had a feature a few years ago called Goliath, and um, and then and and then we made several shorts and and, and kid thing. And the great thing, um, and we part of why we like talking back and forth. Um, uh, is because with with short films there's less at stake and it's not as big a loss like time-wise or financially yeah. if it doesn't work out you know um, but I think that's the most important thing we've learned is just to, to keep working and keep trying something tr trying to make new things and, and not um, and, and let any limitations that are around you whether they're you know financial or otherwise um, uh, kind of force you to it forces you to be creative in certain ways um, did you develop any creative ideas when you didn't have the technical stuff? For example, do you have your own? Um, did you do something when you don't have a dolly? Do you build something yourself? Or? Uh, depending on what it, the scene dictated, we've yeah we've done all sorts of things like like that, or um, not just equipment wise, but just story wise or location wise. You know, if you you know you might have in your head the the perfect you know. The situation for making a certain film, and and um, that might not be the reality of you know what you have available, and so you kind of look at, I would you know from where where I, where I come from, would look at well, what what do we have the access access to either equipment wise or location or or uh, you know that we're able to do within a budget for this story, and um, and then kind of you know tailor the story towards you know yeah. what what is available and and. You know, some sometimes it works better than others, but a lot of times we found that it kind of forces you to be creative and, and come up with a way that that makes uh, come up with a solution that ends up being better than what you had originally. Okay, that's, that's good. And our last question would be: um, film school versus um, real life education? Oh, uh, I think it's it's all up to the individual. I think they both agree. I went to film school. My brother did not. Um, it just it just really depends that I um, yeah it really it really I think it's less maybe it's less important now than it was in the past because yeah. every because a lot of the equipment 
you know, in the, when I went to film school, they didn't have, you know, I went in part because that was how you got access to the equipment. Um, now anyone can get access to the equipment um, uh, to some degree. And, and then you have, you know, your computer, you can, you can edit and do everything, you know, on, on that. So, um, whereas you didn't have access to all these production or post-production tools in the past. So, if you already have a social circle um, uh, to, you know, to work on productions with and, 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 and you, you know, in, in school maybe it doesn't feel right for you, then I think that's totally fine. And if you, you don't have that kind of social structure or access, you know, to, to you know, other people or other resources, then, then I think film school, you know, can can be uh, purposeful. So, but I think less. It's it's less. It's not as necessary as it used to be. I, I think for sure. And then even and also even like with, just in terms of information online about filmmaking and and um, uh, uh, you know DVD commentary tracks. All those there's things like that that just weren't available before that yeah. I think give you know give a lot of insight that. Um, the, we previously would only only get in school. I think ultimately, like the, for me, there's the best thing is just by making films and then by watching lots of films and and being open to you know making mistakes and learning from them. Okay, um, thank you very much for sharing your experiences, your opinions with us, and good luck with your film kit thing. Thank you. And um, have a nice time, Berlin, the last day. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Appreciate interview. it.